How's it going guys? This is Twister and today I'm bringing you guys another GTA Online video because we've just got a brand new trailer for the upcoming Cunning Stunts DLC which is pretty awesome because this is actually going to be releasing next week, Tuesday the 12th of July. So I'll leave a link to the full trailer down in the description so you guys can watch that as well as the Rockstar Newswire post because it basically just shows off pretty much everything that we can expect to see in this new DLC. The actual, uh, the actual stunt races look amazing, all the new props and features that you can see, like rows in the sky, all the tubes, all the jumps, even the new vehicles as well. The new vehicles look really awesome, there's quite a few of them just in the trailer alone on the, on the Rockstar Newswire. I'm thinking about doing like a, a separate video, a full video going over all the new vehicles that we can see from the trailer and the Newswire post, because these vehicles look pretty awesome. It looks like we've got proper customization for them as well such as, you know, on the level that we got for the Sultan RS and the Banshee, so whether we've got more vehicles and, and new vehicles to upgrade in Benny's or an entirely new mod shop, um, I'm not too sure. But yeah, it looks pretty damn awesome now. Uh, I'll take you through some of the screenshots one by one from the Newswire post. Now in this one we've got proper racetrack roads with props and barriers and angled roads on each side. In the middle of the sky, it looks like it's above the Almo Sea and you've got the really nice scenery surrounding it. But just the fact that you can create proper tracks in the middle of the sky, it just means you're not restricted to the city roads anymore or the normal roads from the actual map itself. You can create anything you want in the middle of the sky, which is awesome. So not just for, for stunt races, but for like normal racing as well. Imagine all the tracks that you could create just in the sky as well, like the proper the real racing props as well, like you see the rumble strips on the sides, the barriers, and then even just going past that, imagine just knocking uh, other players off the side of the map. It'll probably get frustrating, but it looks like a lot of fun as well. The actual layouts of these tracks look pretty insane. There's so much going on. You've got like normal rows in the sky with the tubes and everything, and then in the trailer we saw that in these tubes you can have like windmills going around, so you've got to actually try and dodge those whilst in a tube, so if you hit them you'll blow up. There's also speed boosts in them as well, which looks cool. You can do like loop the loops as well. Uh, similar to kind of the stunt races that we have now, um, you'll actually see in this video, the gameplay is just kind of like a regular stunt race that we've had in, in GTA for, for quite a while. But this DLC is, it looks like it's just going to take it to a whole new level with um, the options that you can do in the creator and all the props, as well as the new cars. The new cars look pretty sick. Here's one of the new, what looks to be a supercar, all stunted out in a, in a new, in a racing livery with some, hopefully what are some really cool modification options in either Benny's or a new mod shop. I'm not too sure what this uh, car is based off of, uh, let me know what you guys think it is down in the comments below. In this screenshot it appears that we've got like a stunt version of the De Class Tampa. You can't, I can't really see very well from this screenshot but it does look like the Tampa to me. And then obviously a load of new cars as well. I'm interested to see if we're going to have a new vehicle class just for stunt cars. Or whether they're going to be putting sports cars or supercars. It does sound like they're going to be putting the existing class on the Newswire post. It says the jumps, gaps, terrain and obstacles in each race are tailored to match the attributes of specific vehicle classes. Including new supercars, sports cars and motorbikes. So it doesn't sound like we're going to get a new stunt racing class. It looks like we're just going to have new vehicles slotted into the supercars and sports class as we know now. But again, it will be interesting to see all those new cars. Here we've got what look to be stunt versions of like a Fiat 500. That's going to be a new car in GTA, obviously all the racing liveries as well. And uh, even a new stunt bike as well, it definitely looks like a new bike. Other additional stuff that we'll be getting are proper racing suits and helmets. Uh, an actual gear for our characters to wear. All the props and stunt racing features I'd imagine will be available in the creator so that you can pretty much create anything as well as like some pre-made jobs that Rockstar have done themselves that you'll just be able to play from day one. All the tubes, the tracks, the jumps available in the creator, the fans that you gotta dodge that'll blow you up inside the loops, rings of fire. And then maybe some proper real style racing props as well for uh, the existing racing community I think will uh, really enjoy that too. And one more thing that is being speculated about, I'm not sure if this is confirmed, but there is speculations of like a stunt school or academy, similar to how the flight school was implemented where you go through these missions. Maybe we will get something similar, but obviously stunt themed and, and stunt racing themed, such as that. 
in GTA Online where you go through missions and tutorials about all the different stunts. Uh, that could be coming as well, but I'm not sure if that is confirmed at this point. Again, everything looks pretty damn awesome, so check out the trailer in the description. Check out the Newswire post as well, it's, got a, it's showing off a lot of the cool stuff that uh, we'll be seeing in this DLC. And I'm really excited for this. I was a little bit sceptical before how everything was going to go down if the stunt races were really going to be that much better than the stunt races that we have now. But actually looking at these screenshots, looking at the trailer, all the new cars and everything, it does look like a lot of fun. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think of me breaking down in a bit more detail all of the new cars that we can see. Uh, that we can expect to see coming in this DLC. So uh, yeah, let, let me know your thoughts on that. Let me know your thoughts on the whole DLC in general. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure you do leave it a like rating. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I'll hopefully see you all in my next video. See you later, guys.